Mad Sick Reggaeville. between the movement in Jamaica and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Okay, as the and you can see, right, sitting with the uh, ones like Jana and Mikey General, these are people who are familiar to my me before this situation now. The creed of Rastafari has been, always been word, sound and power. Word, sound and power, consequent power. However, in my own studies, I found that there's a hidden code in the English language and um, the code creates encircles polarity, both extremities of polarity. Now, if I should dare to tell you any such thing like this, I should have some for instances, right? For instance. Well, for instance, C-O-N-E is cone and the same word says E-N-O-C-E, knock. C-O-V-E is cone and the same word says evoke. T-I-M-E is time and the same word says E-M-I-T, emit. T-I-D-E is tide and the same word says E-D-I-T, edit. O-R-I-G-I-N is origin and the same word says N-I-G-I-R or Negro. O-R-G-A-N is organ, and the same word says N-A-G-R. N-O-E-L is no L. The same word says L-E-O-N, Leon. If you should keep looking, you will find the polarity story in the English language easily found. L-O-V-E says love. E-V-O-L, evil is the, is the inverse square law. <laughs> L-I-V-E says live, E-V-I-L, evil is the inverse way love. L-I-F-E is life, and the same word is E-F-I-L, evil is the inverse way love. S-L-A-V-E is slave, E-V-A-L-S is the same inverse way love. <laughs> evil, and they all said evil. L-E-V-I is Levi, L-E-V-E-E -E -E is Levi, E-E-V-E-L is also evil. The inverse square law. So, I'm here to say that we were told as youth from our people, word, sound, and power. Most of the people didn't bother to take a look and see what words are we talking here. V E T E R A N, veteran. N A R E T E V, narrative. Who did that? So, I want to show you, this is why I'm going extreme and long and far. M-E-E-T meet, T-E-E-M is the same word, must meet, T. L-O-O-T is loop, the same word is tool. L-O-O-T-T-O-O-L, same word. This is the inverse square law that we exist among. W-A-L-K is walk, K-L-A-W, T-E-L-K is talk. K L A T, a boy classified So, the whole law is visible, tangible, touchable, and uh, to be found in the language we speak and the West Side. Well, in moving closer to the music, now it's been remarked that at the present moment in time, Perhaps there's uh, something of an unusual situation where the music and culture of Jamaica is influencing the music and culture of the U.S. Virgin Islands, and at the same time, the music and culture of St. Croix has gone back to influence the music and culture of Jamaica. So, Janai, maybe can you tell us a little bit about this cross-fertilization and these influences traveling across these different parts of the Caribbean? I still want to interject still to say that this is not music to we. These are our fathers. These are the men in Jamaica and in the rest of the Caribbean who, who set down principles, standards of living that we may not be lost. We were taken away and lost with our measure. 
These man is not people for us to admire I and mean, who is good and who is very good and who was my favorite. These man, these Jamaican elders are the man who was there to make sure that we were not totally lost and unprincipled and without standards and etiquette and moral and protocols. So, so if, if I understand what you're saying correctly, then you took guidance and inspiration from the, the elders of reggae from Jamaica. Yes, Janai. Greetings to all in the name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie I, and Empress Menu and I, the balance. I give thanks for the question which speaks to a unity among all of the diaspora, as Brother Vaughan shared with you before. And you will find that those of the Rastafari elders, when you ask them questions, they will answer in a similar way. And you will almost need translation if you are thinking on a, on a physical, mundane, you know, if on that level. But it is very important to understand this session is not about reggae music in Rastafari. It is about Rastafari. And reggae music is one of the many things that Rastafari has given the world. And the reason I would think that I brother Vaughan would talk about Rastafari and what it has given all of us first is because there is no there is no discussion to nitpick about who gave who what first and who gave who what after. It is a constant evolving and a sharing. And as we as the world is made smaller by technology and transportation, it's just more access that we have to each other and it will continue to evolve. And we must just always remember that those of us that say Rastafari, we are practicing a liberty. We are not in the music business. We are living this life. And music is a part of it right now in this incarnation. And when it is that Jackie was some different work to do, we won't necessarily see us on the music page anymore. But the work will continue. It will evolve. Whether we are in the Caribbean diaspora, in the Caribbean as the diaspora, or whether we are here in Europe, or whether we are home in Africa, the work will continue and it will evolve as though it is one consciousness, because it is one consciousness. Thank you for the, the clarity of your uh, explanation. And I'd like to also bring in I Nation and Mikey General to have their thoughts on this topic and the broader sense of rustalivity and its relation to the uh, Well, first let me greet in the name of the people and the same person as the first. Ja! Rastafara, the person in the Give thanks and praise. I want to thank you very much for having me on this distinguished panel. Yeah, give thanks to be here and to listen with the eye. Well, you know, Rastafari is the music. Rastafari is the liberty that divides out of oppression. As Brother Vaughan said, the elders come to show us the correct and the right way that we should live and maintain our dignity. So that is what Rastafari came to us and what it did. Within the form of the music, because the people needed advice to express themselves during this oppression. Reggae music came about. You understand? Reggae is the voice of the voiceless, the voice of the poor. And even though it originated within the African diaspora, it is a music that touched the whole world because everywhere in the world you have poor and oppressed people who are going through struggles and trials. So you find say, wherever people are going through such tribulation, they connect. That's why Bob Marley, who came and, and traveled the whole world, when he sings certain songs like Get Up, Stand Up For Your Rights, the whole world could sing it. You understand? Because it connect to each and every one, everyone in the world. Because Rastafari, as Janine rightly said, is a one consciousness. It's a one consciousness of love for everyone, regardless of color, class, or creed. But it's a divine liberty where one submits itself to the teachings of righteousness and liberty. 
and the music is an instrument, a tool in which we use to spread that message because we are very across parts in the, within the movement. You have the warrior, you have the, 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 the cultivator, you have the educator, and you have I and I who are the messengers who come to teach the world. But the world is to uplift and to strengthen if I and I, the individual, who are saying the world. We are not proclaiming righteousness over anyone, but we are saying it is available to all if you follow liberty and the teachings of his imperial majesty. I was last said. So that's how I see the connection between the music and Rastafari. Rastafari, the voice of the voices. So that's it. Mad, sick, reggaeville.